Hey people, <laughs> Shaman Hawk here, and well, again, like I said, when I'm working, <clears throat> I get these ideas that I want to share right then. You know, if I wait, it just doesn't happen. Oh, by the way, I'm back on my boat. That's my sleeping area. You know, today I'll be building doors for that and uh, the front section. But what I'm going to talk about today is uh, how some psychic visions, uh, premonitions work, and how it can stimulate fear with people even though that's definitely not the intent how to look at things in different ways and how some of these premonitions can be so strong and not come true all right so let's look about how first of all they can happen let's say a series of events starts to transpire and each of the events has a consciousness attached to it because of the people that are involved in it the people that planned it uh, the people who are experiencing it, and it could be anything, whether it's a natural disaster or a planned problem or other activity. And each of the event and the consciousness kind of goes out from the people who are participating in it, and that radiates. And when it radiates out, it's, it's received by people who have been working on deprogramming themselves and developing their intuition and psychic abilities. <clears throat> excuse me, sawdust, not COVID. So, and when people get that, they're going to get these pictures and they say, oh, I'm getting a picture to do something. So like Orshi, for instance, is a new shaman, served her apprenticeship. She's doing her journey, very efficient, you know, on people. And she shared something, you know, time to go, or time to go out and buy some more canned foods, you know. And so uh, things could have happened behind the scenes to give her or anyone else, you know, these visions and pictures and sensations, and they get interpreted in the mind to some sentence, a plan, because that's just how our mind works. And it's like, oh, I'm getting a feeling to do this, and then share that. All right. The sidestep that a bit. That's no different than if somebody looked out the window and go, oh, storm's coming. And somebody goes, you say that. And people just get fear because we're all going to die in a storm. <laughs> no. Look, the sky is getting black. Uh, my personal history says when I see that, there's usually a storm coming. It may blow over. Maybe nothing happens. Or another meteorological series of events can happen, which means it dumps a lot of water from the sky. We have some flooding. We have some other things going on. Or nothing. All right? So when you get these visions and premonitions, it's kind of like the interdimensional weather report in a way. You know, these things are coming, you see them and so on. And like, okay, I'll pass the word. And that's it. And people are like, I don't understand. I had this, you know, strong premonition. It was just so real. And I went and did all this prepared work and then nothing happens. Okay. Let's say people or something happens, uh, even in the earth. Let's say there's a lot of pressure under the earth and some faults are getting ready to shift in your region. And this could really be a problem causing a volcano, massive earthquake or whatever. But yet pressure gets relieved somewhere else. And then now the pressure doesn't exist here anymore. And that series of events that could have very easily happened in the near future does not. Was that person totally wrong? Or they can't not trust themselves? No, that's not true at all. Things change behind the scenes. We may never see a lot of these things changing. And I've had a lot of things happen to where I'm looking like, wow, I really need to get prepared for something. And then it doesn't happen. And people are like, oh, you went out and bought all those canned foods. You bought all those bags of rice. Yeah, I'll eat it later. But at the same time, just like with this uh, in the spring of 2020, I had a feeling to go out and buy lots and lots of red. I spent a lot of money on materials that I didn't need for a while for this boat. Well, right now, all those materials that I spent money on are twice the price they were in the spring of 2020. That would have cost me way too much. But I bought lots of wood. I bought stuff I wasn't going to be using for two years. I'm just getting into some of the stuff that I bought back then. All right, maybe I could have bought it all back then and the price went down. You know, what I go on, wow, I made such a horrible mistake. You know, I, I could have got it cheaper now. Yeah, that could have happened too because of things happening behind the scenes. 
One of the things that I tell people when they're training with me an apprenticeship, you know, or just even shamanic uh, skill that they want to learn is like, you got to trust yourself. That's what I'm really trying to get you to do is trust yourself. That's the most important thing. You trust what you get at that moment. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. All right. But the, the point of it is you have to be able to do that. Otherwise, you're always doubting yourself. And we have way too much of that going on. So when Orsi is sharing her thoughts about wanting to go out and buy more canned food, now she lives in Romania, the ninth poorest country in Europe. Wonderful place. It's my home away from home. But things can shift really hard there. You know, and uh, she was sharing also about how a guy came into the store that their money is called lei, you know, and instead of taking out a thousand lei, the card, the woman at the cashier took out 10,000. He blew up. Well, this is a man that was old enough to live in communist times, you know. So everybody is feeling this underlying tension. Now, the more people that really worked on their psychic development and awareness, they're going to get more clear pictures. The other people that are cluttered up with programming and under a lot of stress from, from a variety of reasons, they're not, but they're just going to have that feeling underneath. It puts them right on the edge all the time. So it gets to be a tricky thing when you get a vision or a feeling, uh, you get dreams and they seem so real and you want to share the message. It gets to be a tricky thing to be able to relay it in a way that doesn't breed a lot of fear. But fear-based people are going to go into the fear wagon anyway. You know, you get these things in abstract pictures and thoughts, but you're going to go ahead and you want to make a, led, a sensible sentence in relaying to these things. You just have to do it as you see it. And some things that I get, for instance, like I get a picture, this picture, then this picture, then this picture. Humans want to figure things out because it makes us feel like we have control over something, but we could be putting too much into that. And that's one thing I don't want to do. I don't want to dirty the message with supposition. So I just say, well, I had a picture of this, and then I had a dream of this, and then I had a dream of this. That's the, the most that I give out. Well, what does it mean? Well, I don't know. Right now, I'm telling you, this is what I... And I don't usually volunteer bits of information like that <clears throat> unless someone asks me, hey, have you had any weird dreams about the times? Since you ask, I'll tell you what I got. Other than that, I don't do it. I like to give a complete picture. But sometimes I'll get really abstract stuff and not be real clear on how to relay it. So I just give it as it is. You know, and you figure it out how it works for you. So my message is to the newer shamans and other people really developing these skills is don't get too caught up in the message and what you're getting. And certainly don't get too caught up in the feedback, especially the negative feedback that comes from people like, you're just spreading fear, you know, you're doing you know, whatever. You know, look out the window. What's the weather doing? You make your own decision. You know, um, things are changing really rapidly in the world. We will always have that element that wants to control everybody's business. And we're seeing that even stronger these days. We're seeing some strong power shifts, you know, in the governments. Most of what I see is not good. So you really need to be in tune and open to the pictures you get without putting too much into them. You know, the, and remember, the earth loves people that love the earth. Nature loves people who love nature. And they want us to do well. Okay, so that's about all I got right now. You know, if any of these videos that I do make sense, please subscribe and share. I don't make any money off this stuff. I just want to get the message out because I'd like to go back to traveling. I'd like to finish this boat, get back on the sea, do environmental work. You know, but the, the truth of it is... The reason that we're in this position the way we are is not because of corporations, it's not because of governments, it's because of the people not pushing back against undue control. The fact is that people just believe anything. They just want to get fed something, they're sheeple, and yeah, it sounds bad for me to say it, but that's about the truth of it, and that's why we're here. So many things are getting exposed. A lot of people who had premonitions 
or psychic abilities, you know, what you, even just common sense. A lot of it's just common sense looking at it. They knew this scamdemic was kind of bullshit, but went along with it anyway, you know. And when that happens, the, the people in control just keep doing more and more and more. Again, we're still walking through the airport like sheeple because of something that allegedly happened, you know, from other people years ago. Trust yourselves, you know. Just because the pictures you get doesn't don't work out exactly as you thought or you saw doesn't mean you're wrong. It means that some conditions changed. And when those conditions changed, so did the results. We look out the window, we see the really, really dark sky coming in. I understand how the work the weather works from meteorological classes when I was becoming a pilot. But I also know there can be shifts someplace else. You know, um, a low as an example, a low pressure system a thousand miles away from a, a hurricane can shift the course of that hurricane. All right, a high pressure system can develop right where it looked like it was going to hit and push it away. You know, things happen, things change. So all the prediction we look at the weather, like weather models of where this hurricane is going to go. It looks like a bunch of kids drew lines all over a map with uh, Sharpie or crayons because they know that there's that many possibilities of change behind the scenes of the weather. Same thing happens in geopolitical situations, geological situations. I mean, and we're also traveling through space at a, you know, super fast speed. All kinds of things influence our lives, our everyday lives. You get these messages as the memos come across and you interpret it for that moment and you act on it at that moment and you have to trust that you did the right thing even though you don't see the result that you expected and it's a it's a hard thing and especially if you're going to share it because you want to share good stuff just share it as you see it and just release it after that people people will always make complaints people will always have something critical to say about what you do or what you're seeing, but yet they have nothing to offer themselves. All right, don't get wrapped up in it. Catch you guys later.